Okay, so let's um, let's start as we usually do, with the relaxing the body. We'll keep our feet on the flat on the ground, our spine usually, usually straight as we are sitting, and hands open facing up. This is the receiving mudra. Signaling to the universe that I'm ready to receive. And as we take a nice deep, deep breath, we just hold it for a brief second and release it all. This breath is our life. This is the first thing that we do when we are born. And we'll take that last one when you are ready to leave. And everything in between is fueled by this breath. And we, when we know our breath, when we focus on it, when we consciously breathe, we can bring about changes in our life. This is something that we don't always remember. So while we have this time, this precious time that we can spend together and not have to worry about the rest of the world, we bring our center right here into this fascinating device of our nostrils, bringing the air in, reaching our lungs, expanding that. Activating all the organs of the body. Reminding us that we are awake, alive, present. And just for a couple of minutes, we will take those breaths consciously. Deep and easy. And release. No tension here, no anxiety. No need to rush. At least to the end of this full breath. What a gift this breath is. We will particularly breathe from a place of gratitude at this time on earth. Where somehow we have created these restrictions to our breath. The pollution the virus, the 
the lungs of the humans affected being constricted, restricted, oppressed, suppressed. holding so many of us back from this pure breath. But today, we have the time, the space to revel in. So just for these few minutes, we will remember that. We will be grateful for that. And we are going to expand the idea of this breath. even though this is a very physical phenomena, we breathe in and it affects the circulation, the organs, the oxygen supplied to all parts of me. There is a greater implication here. More than the body, it affects our well-being. This sense of peace, this sense of presence, this sense of all is well, can only come when the body feels rested and relaxed, at ease, supported by this breath. And the mind, as we reach into the deeper recesses of the mind from where our creative thoughts originate. As we breathe deep, we send out the roots to these spaces to bring in to absorb those possibilities of thought that haven't quite formed into thoughts yet, but are waiting quietly in these spaces to be called in, to be brought forth through us. So we may receive them. Add our value, our wisdom, Give it expression through our knowledge as in knowledge and experiences. Give it shape, form, ideas, thoughts, and put it out into the world to be shared.
that deep and easy breath is where it all begins. That deep and easy and patient breath calling in life into these spaces of expansion that are always there. Always within our reach. It comes so easy when we give it space. Making space for our creative purposes. And we're going to stay in this Space for a few more minutes, breathing. And then we are going to extend the energy through this breath to a greater space, to the people around us, in our families, in our communities, who are fearful, who are stressed, who are afraid to take that deep breath because life is suddenly not giving what it promised. It's taking away. It's forcing us into battlegrounds. There's poison around. to raising fears, anxieties, dark possibilities. And you will notice even as we pay attention to these ideas, how the breath is affected. So on behalf of all those in my circle, and even outside my circle, who are facing these anxious moments, I breathe for you. for all the James Floyds out there who have been stopped from breathing bringing them into our heart space of great love and generosity and through the next deep breath I return to you what you may have missed in the body. But into your spirit I send it now. So you will continue to be a reminder of the power that we hold
while we still walk this earth in these exquisite, exquisitely gifted, sophisticated apparatus that is ours, this body, these lungs that we breathe into. Send this breath out to all the spaces where there is anxiety and fear and oppression. And now together we will expand that breath. to breathe on behalf of Mother Earth. This beautiful planet that sustains life on our behalf, on behalf of all beings, on behalf of life itself. That we have hurt and oppressed in our childishness, in our lack of understanding, through our greed, our avarice the pollution that has been created those contradictions to life, the forces that we have inadvertently created in this world, the poisons that we have spewed, we apologize on behalf of mankind on behalf of all the minds that went off in other direction, away from life. Away from the goodness that this planet brings to us. We breathe for you. as we take those deep breaths in, this wonderful oxygen that we draw from the trees and the plants and the greenery and return to Mother Earth to be purified and return back through her creations. We breathe on your behalf. And as we pick up to go through our day, and even though these intentions start taking the backspace and the mind gets occupied with other important immediate concerns. From time to time, I'm going to pause and take that deep breath. 
breath, not just for myself, for my fellow humans, for all the children that I work with, for all the human processes, for all the living beings in this planet, on this planet, and for the planet itself. I'm grateful for this privilege. Thank you, thank you, thank you.